yesterday which was set up on different streets where people could basically come out and find which polling booth they were meant to go and cast their vote at there there were you know we did see a fair bit of confusion among people but I have to say that I haven't personally met anyone today who wasn't able to cast their vote uh, you know as far as now the state uh, that I'm in goes you know this is something where a regional party is extremely popular so I know that when we talk about Indian elections we usually talk about the ruling BJP party or the the big opposition, uh, you know, nationally, which is the Congress Party. But it's really important to remember that it's actually regional parties which could make a big difference to final results. Because in places like Hyderabad and in the state of Telangana, they're extremely popular and they do have candidates standing for the national election as well. Yeah, those alliances are absolutely critical. Yugita Lamai, thanks very much uh, there for us in Hyderabad. Let's continue the political conversation. Let's talk to the main political parties that Yugita was talking about. Shweta Shalini is a spokesperson for the governing BJP party and Loyota Ferns Advani does the same for the opposition Congress party here in Mumbai. Uh, thank you both of you for being here on the programme. So polling has begun. What have been the big issues in this election for both of your uh, parties? So I think in this, uh, the three big issues is uh, safety, security and strength. I think we've gone uh, with our agenda of development to the people uh, with a clear-cut roadmap of what we're going to do in the next five years that we come back to power. And I'm sure that if you look at safety, security and strength, it translates into one word, one party, which is Modi and BJP. I would agree that development is on the agenda because of the gross underdevelopment of the last five years. The main issues are a lack of jobs. We've got an unemployment rate that is unprecedented for the last 45 years. We've got the people losing confidence in the Modi-run government because of plummeting transparency and high corruption. There's also insecurity, especially as far as women go, because there are one... Well, I'll come to that, but on that issue, security, 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 we heard a little earlier. In terms of that flare-up with Pakistan, how do you think the governing BJP has, has handled that? Because Prime Minister Modi constantly now is selling himself as the watchman for the country. It's just something, and the ineffectiveness is seen in Imran Khan, the Pakistani Prime Minister endorsing the See, I think one of the, one of the key um, issues has been that globally, for the first time, we have been able to decouple Indo-Pak and establish the fact that India is something that globally you need to look out for and it's the next superpower. And that's why the world over is looking at India. And Pakistan has been proven as a terror camp, as a state that encourages terrorists. And we have time and again proved it. And I think that has you're, been you're possible. Smiling. That has been possible because of Narendra Modi. Because nothing. it's really sad that our attacks have gone up on our men in Kashmir. 100, uh, terrorist attacks have gone up by 176%. And if anything, we prove to Pakistan that we don't have enough intelligence on the ground to know where the terror camps are. Let's move to a separate topic in terms of delivery on promises. Uh, Narendra Modi has been in power for five years. There were promises on jobs. That's not happened. There were promises on Make India. That's not happened. There were promises on doubling farmers' wages. That's not happened. He hasn't delivered. Unfortunately, OK, perfect. Uh, you know, this is the only government which has actually given a report card every single year. We are a transparent government. If you, at, if you look at, if you look at an online coverage, delivered. and very simple thing across the globe, I want to say, mygov.in. Go every single year. Uh, we were making roads for the last 60 years to a tune of about 10 kilometers per day. Now we are making roads to about 30 kilometers per day. Make India uh, was supposed to get 25%. Let's understand this. As far as jobs is concerned, across the globe, India was looked at as a salaried uh, uh, people, nine to five job. We've changed the paradigm of uh, creation of jobs and hence encourage the entrepreneurial spirit in the Indians. And sure that's what Indians are looking at. 60% of our skilled youth aren't in employment right now. Isn't the problem though for, for Congress, um, in terms of Rahul Gandhi, there's a lot of criticism that he's simply uncharismatic, but also much more cru crucially, that it, you can't just be anti-Modi, you actually have to stand for something. Of course, and our election uh, war cry is Ab Hoganyai, now we shall have justice. We're going to double health Which means to say that they have you, uh, practically just, let, let, and let me, let, let, practic let, 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 let on record finish. said that 60 long years they did not let, do let justice. Let her just finish. Actually, 
literally at the time of independence, we had a poverty rate of 70%. When we came in, I mean, when we last left, it was 20%. Now we aim to bring people out of poverty through our scheme, which is the minimum income guarantee, which will only cost us about 3.6 lakhs which is not very much. Let's turn to it's a unfortunate. Separate. It's unfortunate because right from Indira Gandhi to Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru to Rahul Gandhi now have all been talking about alienating poverty. It's it's shameful. Okay. I, In your first answer, the second word you said was safety. Yes. Now, uh, what about attitudes to women in what is supposed to be modern India 2019? It doesn't really feel like that. I was in the capital, Delhi. Most women feel unsafe to walk at night on their own. Uh, things don't seem to approve. No, uh, unfortunately, the kind of reports that uh, you're talking about, I've seen the BBC reports. Oh, it's and a BBC the kind of sample. It's a BBC uh, problem. No, I have seen the sample size. The sample size has been very, very small. Please understand, Forget about it's, it's, it's Forget 9 o'clock in the night and two women sure. are standing right, right in We're front in Mumbai, of you which, in the which middle feels of the road different. and everything that is, the is safe. City. Let me read you a couple of quotes from the Chief Minister of Haryana, BJP. He said, most rapes are fake. Another top BJ official in uh, UP said uh, blamed parents for allowing children to be out on their own. I mean, See, please understand face, this. No, uh, no, just in terms of the issue I'm asking you, attitudes to women, do they need to change and does this government need to do more? Absolutely. Um, to answer that, Matthew, I think every government needs to do more because this I government. don't think... I'm talking about this government. Yes, every time, every year we need to do more because until we reach 100%, I don't think... And each woman, until she's safe, I don't think we are done. The Prime Minister is notorious for following men on social media who give us rape threats and death threats every day. We've got 107 rapes happening every day. And the woman, the victim, is blamed. Even marital rape isn't being Let me turn to one more issue because we're nearly out of time. I want to no, come I, to I social need to, media I need to put important. a data point here. Please understand the women today are... Uh, are educated enough to go out and report and they know that once I report the government is going to listen to me and hence yeah. the number Reporting has, been has gone up. I, yes. I, I accept that. Let's turn to social media. Do both parties need to do more? I was speaking the last time I was here to uh, Congress's uh, head of social media who actually admitted posting a fake post about the Prime Minister, how he hadn't gone past school and had to retract that was called out to both parties and the Prime Minister of course, his own press office put out that fake picture during the floods. Do both parties have to really understand about fake news because it is really terrible here and it seems to be fueled by the political parties? The difference between the BJP and Congress on this is that we will admit our mistakes. People do lose their jobs over fake news in the Congress party and I can say that for a fact as having been the content. So fantastic. I think Loita has actually uh, nailed it right. Unfortunately, they give jobs to people who actually do work on social media. We have people who follow us who love Narendra Bhai Modi and they're not on job and hence sometimes it gets a little difficult. Yes, I think it's but more it regulatory. I think it, it needs to be, to be a little more regulatory. We need to Th put across time. We need to put across a policy and regulation in place, which we will do it's when we come one, back to... It's got to be one sentence from both of you. Is this a crossroads, this election? Really is one sentence? No, we are coming back with larger numbers. People yes, trust it us. Is. It's yes, it is. It's time to reclaim back. our democracy. It's time to make sure that our institute sees... The that is a long sentence. And we are out of weaponized. time. Thank you so much for being here so with us. Thank we you. are back with much more coverage on this edition of Global in just a moment. Please don't go away.